All right, welcome to Hazen Union. Today is Senior Day, and we'll be honoring our wonderful seniors and their loved ones. I do want to do a special mention to Harwood. I don't believe they have one senior player. I don't believe he's here today. Uh, Christoph Kral, but congratulations to him. I'm sure he had a great season. And now we'll honor our Hazen seniors. And if I could have all the parents and loved ones of the seniors, please come down to the infield now. Okay, Hazen seniors, when I call your name, please go out and join your loved ones on the infield. Elliot Rosendahl. Benton Meyer. Dan DeGroslier. Jacob Davison. And Andrew Menard. All right, let's hear it again for the five seniors from Hazel. Okay, before we get to the game, I've been asked to read this letter. It's on behalf of the senior parents and the players. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for gathering here today. It is with great pleasure that I stand before you to honor a truly remarkable individual, someone who has made an indelible mark on our community through his unwavering dedication, compassion, and commitment to our youth. Today we celebrate Joe Rebard, a man who has coached most of the boys in baseball and has stood by them through graduation. Joe Rebard's journey with our boys began on the baseball field where dreams are born and life lessons are learned. From the very first time Joe stepped onto the field as a coach, it was very clear that he was more than just a mentor in the sport. He was a mentor in life. His approach to coaching went beyond teaching the mechanics of hitting, pitching, and fielding. Joe instilled values of teamwork, perseverance, and integrity in every player that he encountered. Year after year, season after season, Joe committed his time and energy to shaping young athletes. He didn't just see them as players. He saw them as individuals with unique potential and dreams. Joe's coaching style was one of encouragement and positivity. He knew how to lift spirits after a tough loss and how to keep the team grounded after a thrilling win. His dedication to their growth as athletes and as individuals is what set him apart. Joe Rebard's impact is immeasurable. The boys he coached have grown into young men of character, integrity, and resilience. They have learned that success is not just measured by wins and losses, but by the effort, determination, and heart that they put into everything they do. These are lessons that will stay with them for a lifetime, thanks to Joe. To Joe, coaching was never just about baseball. It was about shaping futures, building confidence, and fostering a sense of community. His dedication has created a ripple effect 
in inspiring others to give back and make a difference. Joel's legacy is one of selflessness, kindness, and unwavering commitment to the betterment As we celebrate Joe Rebar today, let us remember the profound impact, the profound impact one person can have on the lives of many. Joe, we thank you for your countless hours of coaching, mentoring, and being a role model. You have left an indelible mark on this community, and we are forever grateful. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in giving a heartfelt round of applause to Joe Rebar, a true hero in our midst. Just one more quick announcement after the game. Please stay and cheer as the seniors will be running a ceremonial lap around the bases. But right now, let's play ball. Okay, here we are at Hudson Fields in Hazen. And uh, Hazen boys are about ready to take the field. They're playing Harwood on senior day. We honored five seniors today, one of whom his father is sitting right next to me, and Ivan Menard. He's had a great career, Andrew. Um, you're watching this on HCTV channel 1080 and we're sponsored by the Village Restaurant open 6 to 3 every day Breakfast takeout all day and check out their daily specials. They broadcast them all the time on Facebook and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center GMTCC.org jumpstart your future And what a day we have for baseball John. Yeah, it's great um, I think you were saying uh, just before we started, you were talking about Harwood and their schedule this week. Yeah, they played four games this week, um, and they were good enough to come up here today mm -hmm. um, for our senior day so we could have our festivities and get this game in. Uh, they played Lamoille last night. They won that one. Yep. Uh, but they could be a little short on pitching. Um, they got some tired arms, but, of course, Hazen's had a... What, three-game schedule this week? We have. We played it, We played last night up at Lake Region. And uh, but kind of a heartbreaker. We were right in it up until the fifth, and then a uh, couple of, you know, I won't say the wheels came off the bus, but we just couldn't get uh, back the couple of runs we gave up. So I've watched some uh, different teams this year, and I've noticed that a lot of teams will get the first two outs in an inning and then struggle to get that third out. I don't know if they lose focus or if they try too hard or what it is, yeah. but that third out comes hard sometimes. Yeah. That wind was really whipping around for us last night, and it just, they get, you know, the boys would get underneath it, and then the ball would all of a sudden move. Well, the wind's going to be a factor today, it looks like, because it's been gusting on and off, mm -hmm. kind of down now. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it could be a problem. You know, the wind is uh, keeping it cool, but the sun is bright and hot. Yeah. And we have a huge crowd here this afternoon for senior night. Yeah, and it's good to see them come out and support the team. It sure is. That good weather. For and they honored Joey Rivard before the game for all his commitment and time. So here we are, we're ready to start. And with the first pitch, takes the ball high. The, uh, you know, Joe Rivard took this group, Andrew, this group of seniors started at T-ball level all together. And um, right through the years, Joe has been just a catalyst and to have read the narrative that you did down there, John, was an understatement to the commitment of this man. And you know, it, it says a lot about him. His son had a stellar career here. Oh, Graduated yeah. last year, but Joey came back to help coach the mm -hmm. team. You know, a lot of people will follow their sons, you sure. know, and, and then when they leave, they leave, but not Joey. Yeah. Andrew has uh, worked himself into a three and one, I think, here. Yeah, it's three He's and gotta, one. Could it bring that down a little bit. Yeah, I uh, could go on all day about Joe Rebard, but I'll let him rest because yeah. many great people put into this program. There's a strike. He's worked it full. Uh, There's that wind. You can hear it probably. Yeah. So I believe this is number seven for Harwood. Um, I can't see his number. Number is a lefty. Oh, there's a, a shot up the middle. There's a base hit. Dan's in front of that. Dan's playing center field today. Actually, that was number two, Matthew Fiaschetti.
but I, I can't see the numbers right now, so I'm not sure if he's out on the field. But it looks as though we've got Dan in center. And That's usually where Owen is. Yeah. But yeah. Well, that wind's something going. See if we get a shot down the middle there. Yeah, runner steals second. Yeah. Harwood will run. Uh, last night they made, I watched the Lemoyle game, they made pretty good contact. Really? Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh. Almost had him picked off. But almost. Almost had him picked off, but a little overthrow there. So Logan, this is number 19. Uh, Logan Huffman, he is a freshman. It's, not, it's number nine, it's number 19. Now I can see his uniform. I think Andrew was Ooh. thinking about making a move to second base there, and nobody, rather no, than Bach. Hey, yeah. Rather than Bach, nobody was covering. He, yeah. he let it go, yeah. So I think they're just not on the same sheet of music out there. And right now, Harwood's yeah. got a runner on third with nobody out. Yeah. Ooh, there's a foul ball. Yeah. So I don't dare say who's in right, but uh, we've got Jake Davison. Uh, Justin Montgomery, Andrew, of course, throwing. We got Grayson McNaughton at short. There's a playable ball, a foul ball. Yeah. And uh, on third base is Jake Hayden. Jake Hayden. And behind the plate, Mr. Miller for us. You probably have all those positions. Sorry, John. No. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. No. This wind is going to push that ball, isn't it, into left? This what wind could cause some problems for fielders. There's a good oh, pitch. Oh, there's a nice pitch. Got him. One down, one down. All That's right. a big one. The first one's a big one. I think that's Marvin behind the plate, isn't it? I believe Calling it is. Balls and strikes. I believe it? it is. Yep. Stay down. Stay down. Oh. And then we're gonna throw it away. No. Nope. All right. Good job. Knocked it down. Knocked it down. Run was gonna score anyways. But now they got a runner on first. Mm -hmm. Only one out. And we'll see, I imagine, you know, they're they're being aggressive right away. So I imagine they're gonna be sending him. We'll yeah. See if Andrew checks a runner. Nope. That's a strike though. Woo! Hopefully we can maybe hit into a double play, but we'll take the one, the safe one. There's a well, here we go. ball again. Yep. Well, Grayson's getting a workout there. He's getting a workout, right but that was a tough hop. It certainly was. That was a tough hop. Caught him right on the inside of the arm, I believe. Yeah. yeah. That's one of those in between those big skips where you're, you know, you're stuck, John, in between the grass and the infield. And do I charge? Do, do I you, play back? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Now we can lay back a little bit with runners at first and second. There. Uh, batting now is Keegan McGrath, a junior from Harwood. Had no seniors, but they seem to be heavy with juniors. Oh, and they got some freshmen too. Oh, oh yeah. There's another nice pitch, Andrew. Seven freshmen on this team. Whoa. Well, that's a good jag of freshmen, isn't it? Yeah, they uh, they look good for a couple of years coming oh, here. Yep. Good stop. Is that Head on the count, it looks like one and two. Got one out here. Big see pitch it. coming right here. See if we can get a payoff pitch here and get one more. Got him. There we go. Nice. Got him. Two outs. Now, if we can retire this batter or get it out out in the outfield somewhere. It's got to be what, batter seven or eight, John? This here. is, let me see, two, three, two, five. This is batter six. Six. Let's see what Andrew does here. Oh, pass ball oh. coming, nothing there. No. Put a little more pepper on that one, trying to get ahead. Yeah. Yeah. That's 
Let me see it sink in. Oh, gave up. Another run. They are hitting the ball well. Yeah, they swing. They swing. Now, this is what I saw last night. Mm -hmm. These next two or three guys are a little bit smaller. Their strike zone is down. Yeah, that's a problem. That can be a problem for a pitcher. Yeah, yeah and um, what you have to do here is watch the bunt. Well, we know they should be stealing here. Yeah. And Sean is pulling some ball, play, the outfield in. I imagine they're stealing. There he goes. That was a good. No, they had no play set on that one. No. Though. No. Joe will sometimes call out numbers in a sequential order, and uh, I think that time we opted to just hold the runner there. Now, well, John, they're not bunting. There's no, a strike. There's a strike. Two outs, runners at second and third. Be nice to get that third out right now and get out of here with just two. Sure would be. Get our bats up there. Ooh, just low. It was just a little bit low. Mm -hmm. Of course, Marvin Pritchard, um, elected to the Hall of Fame, uh, all kinds of officiating, umpiring for I don't know how many years. Oh, nice pitch. Took a little speed off that one. Yeah, I think he's working on 100, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Great man. Did fabulous things. Yeah. I, I just can't even imagine uh, no. the love of every game that he has. It's just something. There's a foul, foul ball. ball. Andrew's throwing some strikes in there now. Yeah, because uh, Marvin's got to be in his 70s. Mm, I believe he is. Yeah, he's got to be. I saw him up to uh, Matt Willie Sugar House this yep. year. Yeah. He and his wife, and he, he had just got him. Three. There we go. Not a bad inning. No. But we're going to go to the bottom of the first, and Hayes is down two to nothing, but our bats are coming up. Yep. And I think they'll be playing with some emotion today, the senior night, you yeah. know, everything. I'm hoping they're a little more fired up. We were We were pretty fired up last night. And this crowd, if the crowd gets into it, that's going to yeah. cheer the guys on even more. Yeah. Well, you know, when, you, when you're having a tough year record-wise, breaks mm. seem to go against you. Yeah. And then when something happens, it's like, uh-oh, here we go again type of thing. You know, it's just natural. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the kids have kept their spirits up. I've watched a couple of games here. and Kids have kept their heads up. The coaches are being positive. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's just, and when you look at it, I mean, I love baseball. I love all sports. But it is a game. At the end of the day, and I wonder, you know, yeah. when I was uh, this age, it was, uh, I think it's almost easier to say that now as I'm older. Yeah. But, you know, when you think about it, John, back when you were, oh. you know, playing and, uh, you know, your name's on a few banners around the school here. So, um, but Andrew, you're right. He throws the switch on and then he, he throws the switch off and oh, he gets yeah. home. He leaves, yep. the, leaves it on the field. Yep, exactly. I tell my grandson who plays for Lemoyle the same thing. Yep. It's a game. Do your best. Keep your head up. That's mm -hmm. all you can ask for. You can't do it all. No. Nope. You know, it takes a team. But uh, keep your head up. Be positive. Mm -hmm. yep. So uh, I put out a feeler to all the senior parents, and I got some fun facts to share about uh, some of our players. And oh, I'll, I'll start right. with Fenton because he's the leadoff hitter, double deuce. And um, during his Hazen career, he played five sports, baseball, basketball, soccer. He played golf for Hazen his freshman year. And he swam for the Icebreakers swim team based out of Johnson State College his freshman to sophomore year. Year. So I had talked about Fenton swimming, and uh, he completed a four-mile open water swim. Wow. Year. So I'm going to have, knowing Fenton, it was probably in shark-infested water. Yeah. I'm sure when he tells the story, that's what it'll be. <laughs> yeah. And if not, then I will. But Fenton last night was on fire at the plate at the game. He went three for four. Oh, wow. And uh, beat everything out. He has just blazing speed, John. Yeah, I saw that on the basketball court. <laughs> yeah. He would get the rebound and be the first person down the other end of the court. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, he can run. He can run. And it looks like he's going to take a gap year before he goes to USC, the University of Southern California. Oh, that's where he's going to go. Oh, yeah. good for him. And uh, as you know, this is the last fun fact, but Fenton comes from a long lineage of ball players. Oh, yeah. You know, between Tom, Andrew, Nick, and Taylor. Taylor. Oh, yeah. They were all phenomenal athletes. 
There we go, there we go. Beat it out, kid. Let's go. Speed, oh, speed, nice speed. Oh. Ooh. Did he drop that? No, he didn't. No, he scooped it right out. He did scoop it out. I'll tell you, a good backhand by the shortstop, good backhand by the first baseman. Mm -hmm. And here's Owen. So, right, he, maybe he's in right field tonight, John. I he just I couldn't tell. I'll make sure to pay attention when we take the field again. But Owen's been striking the ball very well lately, too. But he does have a knee that's been bothering him. He's only a sophomore. Yep. Yep. What a what a what a treat he has oh. been to our program. He played um, Babe Ruth a year or two ago with mm -hmm. my grandson. They got along so good. He was yeah. so much fun. He's a great kid. Yeah. He really is. Yeah. I'll tell you, that wind could be a factor one yeah. way or the other for either team. They're playing him a little. They look like left fielder's playing deep. There's a strike. He wanted to see one, I think, there. Yeah. That runs the count to two and one. Curveball. That gave us a little trouble last night. The gentleman that threw, uh, he had some good speed and he had a very fast curveball, actually. There we go, opposite field. Let's get that out of play. Uh, it's not out there of play, but it was yeah. in no man's land. Yep. Yep. I was worried that Augusta Wind would grab that and bring hold it back. It up. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, Owen doesn't seem to mind whether he's got two strikes or no, no strikes. He's He puts the bat on the ball. So let's see how he does here. That's outside that one. Yeah, he threw that curve again, yep. though, because he knew he had Owen looking on it. Now I'd watch for a fastball. Yep. Two and two. Two and two. Big gap in right center field. Boy, it'd be nice right over that second baseman's head. Yep. He, I think the wind just blew his cap off a little bit, or yeah. he caught his brow and his wind up. Oh, oh he did. He threw yeah, a bender, threw though. Again, yeah. Threw that curve again. Three That's curves in a row. That's working for him. That was a good one, too. Owen way out ahead on that one. So here is, here's my son, and I'll take a quick minute and tell you a couple fun facts about Andrew. Positions played in baseball, and he's done fabulous. He's been a catcher, a pitcher, a first baseman, second baseman, shortstop, and third. So here we go, Andrew. Takes it low. Yeah. You know, John, all those years, and I know you've been down this road, and you know you can take a, a page from your playbook, but just every night that I'd come home, he was there waiting with his glove to, oh, yeah. to throw. Takes another ball outside. Yeah. And well. With me, it was going out in the wintertime on our net. Played yeah. basketball, basketball till, yeah. till the ball got so cold it wouldn't bounce. Yeah, I oh, remember yeah. those. Yeah. yeah, both of my kids played basketball. Mm -hmm. Boy, that's what they like to do. Andrew going to take one down the pipe that time. Uh, need to step on the gas and get these bats going. Andrew yeah. has the ability. He can push it to that gap and right center field there, or he can just, let's see what he does. I think he's going to come at him with a curveball here would be my guess. Nope, fastball or a slider. Andrew didn't step on that one. Boy, that pitcher is mixing his uh, pitches up well. Mm -hmm. He's got the hitters off balance a little bit right now. Yep. Come on, Andrew. Let's go. Ooh, held off on that one. Yeah. I think he thought it was going to break. Nope. They're checking with the first base umpire. And yeah. Got a full count right now. Two outs. Nobody on. Hazen down two to nothing. Bottom of the first. Oh, swing and a miss, but it hit the dirt. Catcher throws it to first and got him. So it's a one, two, three inning. Yep. For Hazen. So Harwood's going to come up top of the second. They're ahead two to nothing. <laughs> and the great one, Mike Clark. Mike Clark. Us off. Yeah, Mike yeah. Clark. Yeah, the great one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I could tell you stories about him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In case you just joined us, I'm John Lusher. I uh, was asked at the last minute to come up and help Ivan out here. Doing it with Ivan Menard, who's been a regular. We're watching the Hazen Harwood baseball game today. It's uh, senior day, and we honored the seniors, and uh, it was a good tribute to Joey Rivard.
who's put a lot of time in over the years, mm -hmm. done a great job, not only here at Hazen, but on the Little League field, on the T-ball field, everything, you know. Everything. Yeah. So, yeah. and uh, you know, his wife used to help run the, the clinics, the little basketball clinics down at the elementary school. Oh and, yeah, you know, tons and tons of kids. Yep. And in case you just joined us, you are watching it on HCTV channel 1080, www.hctv.us. And today's sponsors are the Village Restaurant. They're open six to three every day, and breakfast and takeout all day. And check out the daily specials. And by Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC, at gmtcc.lnsd.org, jumpstart your future. And boy, they're looking for applicants all the time, and they have some tremendous programs down there. And Ivan, over the last, I want to say, five, ten years, they've won some national awards when they go oh, out yeah. to those competitions. They've had some first and second places and uh, nationwide. Mm -hmm. They've got a name for themselves. The first time I went down there, your sister, Sherry, your sister, Sherry yeah. Lusher, I believe, was, she was running the program. She was a director for a few years down there, yeah. And how impressed I was to yeah. go down there and see the scholarships at that graduation. Just the, oh yeah. Look at those kids. There's a good start for Andrew. Number 13, Ryan Lacey. He's only a freshman. Look at his size. Mm. And he's only a freshman. One of the seven freshmen on the team for Harwood. But he's behind 0-1. Behind 0-2. See what Andrew, if you're going to stay on the heat. And then I'll, I got a few more fun facts about him while we're trying to share it out here. Come on, Andrew. That little little pop-up, catchable. catchable. There Third we go, there's one. Yeah. So um, I mentioned Andrew in the positions that he'd played. Uh, avid turkey hunter. Um, and he has mentored several young hunters and uh, help them bag their first turkeys. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That was Jacob Hayden at third that caught that ball. Yeah. So one down quickly. That's going to be a strike. Yep. We must be coming around to lead off here pretty soon. There's another one. Oh, that went ball. off of somebody's hand. Yeah, I think it went off the catcher's hand. hand. Uh-oh. Yep. Uh-oh. Hope that didn't catch a finger. That didn't sound good. Wowza. I don't think that's Marvin Pritchard behind the plate. <laughs> oh, you're right. It's, it isn't. I, don't, I saw him here, I, though. Pretty sure I did. I did see him. Maybe it is. Like that chain link fence is. I guess he's going to tough it out and see how his. Yeah. Let him. Let him make a throw down to second and see how his hand feels. I'm going to go back to the mound first. Oh. It's probably a little numb, almost like it's asleep. Yeah. So no feeling, but it'll come back with a vengeance, probably. Probably. Be like a bee sting, right? Yeah. It's just going to get hot and hurt and swell. This is number eight for Harwood, Grayson Van Sulkema, and he's a freshman, but he's behind 0-2 right now. That's kind of too bad that happened because it broke up Andrew's rhythm. He was working yeah. fast, and he was pouring them in there. Let's see what Andrew does here. High fastball. Not a bad 0-2 pitch. They've been swinging at those high ones. One out here, top of the second. Harwood on top, two to nothing. <laughs> Going high, I don't, in the release or uh, where he's landing. There's a, oh. up the middle, come on. Oh, oh almost got a nice try. Yep. Nice that, try. I think Grayson had to come across there quite a way. Yeah, he so. did. And, but he almost got to it. Of course, he's pretty tall. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, Andrew loves dirt biking as well. Um, and uh, a whole bunch of his buddies and a few other dads, including myself, we took a, a, a dirt bike trip out to Colorado last fall. Oh, wow. And had a great time up in Steamboat Springs. The runner's going. There's a strike, though. Nice throw down to second. Just a little ahead of the runner. No problem. Um, 
So that was a, a fabulous trip, even though the runner advanced. <laughs> and then after graduation, Andrew is going to continue to work with the Gould Electric. Oh, yeah. Until he completes his Vermont apprenticeship program. Yeah. And... Uh, Low and outside, and the sports he played through high school were uh, baseball, golf, hockey, and uh, hockey for Linden. What a that's right. He played hockey for Linden. That's yeah. right. A lot of fun that was. There's a bunt, John. They're up and out of play. Yeah, they will bunt. They tried several bunts last night to move the runner over. Yeah. I didn't hear anybody call the bunt. That was one thing. Communication. See, oh, we swung through that one. This is Matthew Fiaschetti batting. Number 11. I think he was their leadoff yeah. man. Huh? One and two. One and two, one out. Runner on second. Hazen down two to nothing. Here's a pitch. High. Two and two, big pitch right here. Well, we had a little surprise he gave time because Andrew was in his windup, but I guess the batter was out of the box anyways, so. That should be an out. There yeah. we go. Feel Good it job, well. Jake. Good job. There we go, two down. Maybe we can get out of this with no pain, John. That'd be nice. That was Jacob Davison. Batting now for Harwood is Logan Huffman. Number 19. And they got him down as a freshman. Look at his size. Um, I guess they grow him big over there. No oh boy. Tall, anyway. Everybody always seems bigger than we are. Yeah. That's in the dirt. Good job. By that Mr. was a nice Miller. stop. Yep. Yeah, that sun is hot. So Huffman for Harwood trying to pick up the duck on the pond at third. And there's a bouncer on, to Grayson. short. Come on, Grayson. Come on, Grayson. Got to fire it over there. Oh, they got him. Wow. They got him. I couldn't see the call because of the yeah, pipe the in the backstop, but yeah. they got him. He nice play. Great inning for Hazen. They didn't allow any runs. Yep. So we go to the bottom of the second, hazing down just two to nothing. Did you see the crossover that Grayson did there? You just flipped the glove, and it was, you know what I mean? The yep. exchange was the very good. The exchange was good. Yeah, that's a long throw from short, too. It is. Now, you know, you mentioned the backstop. Mm -hmm. I've followed Lemoyle, of course. Um, my grandson plays for him, and we've been to a lot of different parks. And one of the biggest gripes that a lot of parents have, and, and it, I think it's a legitimate gripe, is every backstop is at different lengths behind home plate. Mm -hmm. Some of them are like a half a mile away, it seems yeah. like. So no matter if the, if the ball gets by the catcher, somebody's advancing no matter what, no matter what team it is. And then others, like Hazen, are a little bit closer. And I think there's one other school where one is a little bit closer than this one. Lake Region is where we played last night. It, it's right behind the right behind the plate. And yeah. Yeah, and so some of the parents are wondering how come they don't make it a uniform distance for every ballpark. Yep. You know. That's a really good question. Yeah. Yeah, it's been it's been up for discussion a lot. Yep. So uh, Dan DeGrozer is going to be starting us off here. I got some fun facts about Dan too. Um, he will be attending Southeast Line Training Center in the fall, which is for lineman school, just like his father and his grandfather. Is that in Georgia? It is. Yeah, that's yep. what I thought. Yep. Northern, yep. North, northern part. Yep. Uh, he loves hunting, and he has bagged five deer so far. Oh yeah. Uh, gained the nickname Dano in Little League, and it has stuck. We call him Dano the Mano sometimes. <laughs> Years of dirt biking with his buddies and some of his favorite times. Uh, 
Ann loves to do maple sugaring as well up at the, oh, that's going to be a, oh, he's going to give him a strike on that outside corner. Up at the DeGrosler's Sugar House. Now that is an old oh, yeah. time old sugar time house. Old time sugar house, yeah. Where the steam is down right to the bottom of the pan and, oh, it's a ball in the dirt there. And um, just a lot of fun. And Reno Demers is Pepe grandfather. They they gather with horses and yep. it, it, it's a, I've spent a lot of nights up there with Andrew and Andrew and Dan. Oh, nice cut, Dan. They were coined the name from uh, down at Jenny Whitney's starting at um, preschool. They were called Dandrew. Dandrew. The, the, both of them were inseparable. Yeah. There you go, Dan. Ooh, Ooh baby. Yeah, he wanted to, and then he, he, just, he thought yeah. it wasn't going to be in the strike zone. Oh boy, uh, that pitcher for Harwood, uh, number three. Really mixing it up. He's a junior, Nathaniel Conyers, and I'll tell you, he's mixing it up, and I'll tell you, they can't sit on his fastball because his breaking ball's working. Exactly. Oh, there's a nice swing there oh, by Jacob. Yeah. Pulled it a little bit, but he was right on it. Jacob's, Jacob's uh, favorite <laughs> player is Manny Morano. I'm saying that wrong. I get my glasses, John. Can you see that one? Manny Machado. So, there's oh, a shot up the middle a little bit. Gets a oh, nice cherry hop. There. Yeah, room service hop. Yeah. But that shortstop looks pretty smooth out he there. Looked, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He looks pretty smooth. He's Very pretty confident. Fluid. He had a nice game last night too. Yeah. Yeah. So Jake makes contact. That's that's a good start. Uh, so Jake's favorite Major League Baseball team is the Baltimore Orioles. Avid fisherman. Um, enjoys spending time up to his family's camp. That must be out on East Lawn. There's a good pitch there. Grayson took a nice cut. Grayson McNaughton's up. He's just a sophomore. Yep. Shortstop. Another great pickup for us here. Yeah, now, where is he from uh, Crassberry? Um, I believe um, that's going to be a strike. He lives in Wolcott. Wolcott. Okay, yeah, they have choice. So, uh, yeah, yeah, and I'm not, I'm pretty, he, either he's homeschooled or he goes to Crassbury and yeah. I just, it has skipped my mind right now. So yeah. what are you well, saying? yeah, they have choice. That's Ooh, another one. Nice pitch. Yep. That, that pitcher one, two, is throwing darts right now. That was a one, yep. two, three inning for Harwood. So we go to the bottom of the second, hazing down two to nothing. I mean, top of the third, excuse me. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, he's throwing fire out there. Yeah. And Jacob really enjoys tacos. And you know, you talk about our, our sponsor during some of the breaks. You know, I had, I had breakfast at the diner this morning. And I walked in the door at about quarter to seven, and there was a couple other people in there. And then it, the doors opened, John, and it was just the feed bag was on it. Oh, yeah. Everybody yeah. It filled the place right up. And I a get a great breakfast. I get a kick on Sundays. I'll come out of church and I'll go up mm -hmm. to the farm or something. I'll come back down about 11, 30, 12 o'clock, and there'll be a line oh, yeah. waiting to get in yeah, there. You know? yeah, yeah. And I'm not one to stand in line. You can ask my <laughs> wife. I don't know how they do it, but they do. But you know, it's it's great to have a diner like that in a small town. Sure. And is. I'll tell you why. It's great to be in a small town. Because mm -hmm. I've been in there before and order something, sit down, have a meal, and somebody will come in, and I'll go over and start talking. 20 minutes later, I'm still talking. Next thing you know, the guy gets up to leave. I leave. Yeah. Haven't paid my bill. <laughs> <laughs> they don't chase you out the door. They know you're coming back. They know who you are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> so I've done that a couple of times. And I tell you, I laugh. I'm embarrassed. I go back in. They said, yeah, we got it right here. Don't worry. Yeah. We know you're coming back. <laughs> yeah. Great to live in a small town. Sure is. You always got a friend in there, too, you know. Yeah. But no, I hit the the eggs and sausage and raisin toast this morning. Had a great meal. It's making me hungry right now, though. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> All right, we're in the top of the third here. And Hazen, John Lucier along with Ivan Menard, bringing you the action and a few fun facts about our seniors on senior day. Oh, there's a nice Ooh, cut. Back it up, back it up. Uh, okay. He's got it all the way. There we got go. Got it all the way. There one pitch, one out. That's there. what we like to see. You know, Fenton had that gap year in sports, too, because he studied over. And what a treat to have him back, John. Oh, I Did know. Did you see some of the catches he's made this year? Yeah. Um, yeah, he's just – and. 
the, you know, we talked about it being just a game, you know, mm -hmm. in the eyes of many. And I think out of all the people that I know on the team, Fenton That's probably strange. treats it as a game as much as anybody. He he's going to have fun, and he's going to go out there, and yeah. whatever happens, happens. Mm -hmm. He's going to have a blast, and when it's over, it's on to the next. <laughs> and just a positive kid, yeah. too. You know, oh, yeah. Whether it's baseball, basketball, or soccer, he is positive energy and yeah. cheering. Yeah. I got I used to love to see him come off the bench mm -hmm. in basketball because, boy, I'm telling you, he, the game would just accelerate. Yep. Andrew is lost. A little short there. Yeah, I think we had the same. The mound was quite a bit steeper up in uh, Lake oh, Region Lake last region, night. Yeah. And um, I'm saying Lake Region. I, yes, Lake Region. Yeah. And um, Grayson struggled with it. It was so steep. But our mound isn't steep, so Andrew must have just short stepped that one, which made him throw. This is number Nick oh. this is number eighteen, Nicholas Casey for Harwood. He's only a sophomore. He's ahead in the count right now, three and one. So Andrew's mm -hmm. gotta come to him right now. Mm -hmm. There it is. He did. Yeah. Little off speed pitch. That's what I think. Caught him looking. He thought he struck out or he was reconsolidating his thoughts to Yeah. He was he was playing fastball all the way. He was yeah. sitting dead red. And Andrew threw him that little bender. Still we're at a full count. This is the payoff here. Oh calling time. Now'd be the time to get a little fly ball to the outfield, no wind. Mm -hmm. Oh nice pitch. He came back with that curveball. Yeah. So his curveball is starting to work for him now. They can't sit all the way on the fastball. And that was their, what, number three, you said, John? Number three batter? Yes. Yeah. So yeah in in the is. first inning, the, you know, they, they stepped right on and cued right in. So a one, two, three for us would be great here yeah. as well. There's a straight, you know. This is Keegan McGrath. He's a junior. Now, the one senior they had wasn't here, and I'm wondering. He played last night, and I don't. Oh, there that should be. That's that should trouble. end the inning. That's trouble. No, no, they got it. They got it. No, they don't. See. Oh, no man's land. Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's a tough ball. I think Grayson missed that one off the bat a little bit. Yeah. And I think he thought it was going a lot deeper. Um. And this is what happened last night. You know, we just had a few uh, fly balls, but that's, you know, part of the game. So so now I'm assuming the runner is going to go and he's going to check him. But getting back to Harwood, the senior, his name is Crawl Kristoff, and I wouldn't be surprised if he's an exchange student. I don't know that, oh, but I just wouldn't yeah. be surprised because I don't think he's played much baseball. That's Grayson right is getting second. a lot of work tonight. Good there play. We go. There we go. They got out of it again. Yep. No runs. Now we get to step on the gas and get the sticks cracking here. Now we go to the bottom of the third, hazing down two to nothing, but this game is well within range if we can get the bats going. But their pitcher is looking pretty good. I don't know how long he can go, though. You know, I wonder if Sean is going to try some small ball. Man, you know what I mean? In, in, in the bottom of the lineup here. Let's watch that third baseman, see how far back he's playing. Maybe lay one down. Yeah. At least keep him honest. Because then if you can keep him honest and bring him in, mm -hmm. then maybe you got a chance to drive one by him. But like you said, you know, that shortstop, he, that kid is fluid. He is fluid. So he is fluid. Yeah. Like a Tyler Rebard out there. Yeah. So. Yeah. And he's got a good arm. He doesn't panic. And when he comes up, he throws a missile across yep. there. Yeah. But we'll see what um, if Sean tries to mix it up and get some ducks on the pond out there. Yeah. So we're here at Hayes, uh, Hayes and Union, right on Hudson Field. We're watching Harwood play Hazen on Senior Day. I'm John Lucier and uh, trying to help out Ivan Menard here a little bit and uh, trying to bring you the game. Beautiful day here at Hazen. The wind can be a little tricky. It comes and goes. No effect on anything yet. Um, How you doing? But a good game, a fast-paced game so far. So far. After that top of the first inning, it's been uh, in and out real quick. Mm -hmm. we're, all, we're already in the third, and uh, we've only been playing less than half an hour. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of, well, I mean, there has been some offense. There's been some hits. You know, Harvard loaded up the bases. Yeah. That curveball, he's mixing it up just right. But 
like I said, let's see. Maybe Sean will mix up the and go to some small ball. See if he can't get some. Because we had a lot of speed in the next couple of batters coming up. Yeah. But right now, he's got Hayes and batters off balance. Mm -hmm. they, they can't just sit on the fastball. Yeah. Because usually a pitcher will a high percentage of the time try to get that get me over strike mm -hmm. and you sit dead red on a fastball but you never know with this guy but Justin Montgomery's going to lead it off he's just a sophomore yeah. and you see third base he's playing back yeah you know, he's not up on the grass I, I, I wonder with Justin speed if he'll try to lay down a bunt here or have Justin swinging away he's swinging away on the first one so, you know, last night we would get on base and then we'd had a, there's a nice, Justin, no, it went foul. He didn't even see it come off the no. bat. <laughs> I get stung his hands and that kind of. <laughs> Let's see what he does here. So they pick uh, playoff teams on Sunday, I guess, huh? Mm. We'll find out where we finish out. Yeah. And uh, I've heard next Tuesday, but I don't know. That's low. It's usually a Tuesday. Um, Is there a reason for that, John? Uh, they go Tuesday and um, sometime either Friday or Saturday. They like to divide it up because some teams will go Wednesday. And they don't like to go more than two a week based on the rainouts. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I mean, rainouts you can't do anything about because they don't want teams to get uh, stretched out on pitching any more than they have to, you know. Yep. Yeah, but sometimes you get a rainout. I'm surprised. I mean, Harwood must have some really good pitching. With, you know, four games this week. Yeah. And um, last night they started a kid that pitched uh, very well for the first, but he only went four. Mm -hmm. And then the other two struggled a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe they've been saving this kid, keeping his pitch count low. There's another ball. Yeah. So there's a leadoff walk. Yeah. Now, I've been watching, and their catcher's got quite an arm. He's got a gun. Yeah. He's got a gun. If he comes up throwing, and he's quick, too. Yeah. Yeah. Now, they just made a move on Justin. I think Justin either rounded first and wasn't yeah. no. watching closely, and they went right to first base. So there's another move. Oh, boy. He's out. Oh, man. Oh that was boy. close. That was close. That was very close. Got the hand in there. Because Justin, he didn't see that either. No. <laughs> I no. wonder if he's got his attention now. I'll tell you, for a team with only one senior, yeah. Harwood is very well coached. Very well coached. They're focused. They're... Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this, I believe, is Elliot Lowenthal that's up right now. Going. Oh, boy. He's safe. Oh, oh got he him. got him. Oh, there's Marvin right there. That's Marvin. Yeah, that's right. I wondered if Sean would send him. Yeah. Yeah, they got him. Yeah, this is... Um, I thought he was just under it, but I think Marvin had a better view than I Yeah. <laughs> There's Elliot. Nice little... There you go, kid. Tricky there you go, Elliot. All right. Look All at right. that speed going yeah. down the line, too. Yeah. Way to go, Elliot. Right off the handle. So, uh, fun facts about Elliot. He was born in Utah. He sp speaks fluent Danish. I didn't oh, know wow. that. Um, has played uh, competitive soccer since he could walk. His mother was quite a soccer player, too. Played lacrosse for Lemoyle. Uh, served on student council and spoke at school board meetings. And he gets not, he had a, a good move to first base there. Um, he did early colleges here at Johnson State and is possibly considering college in Montana after a gap year. Another great kid. There's a small ball. That I talked about John. Yep. Left handed batter trying to push. Now he's in on the grass for third that's, base. That's uh, Landon Miller. He's the, he's the kid that's catching, I guess. Yep. And uh, Crassbury student. Yep. yep. He's only a sophomore. So he's is fairly young. They got five seniors, but they got a lot of young players. I tell you, you got you to be awake when you play this Hirewood team because they're well coached. Even though they're young, they got a good program. And, and this, this move to first is a laser. Yeah. So our guys are really keeping them on the base there. See, they're getting used to it now. 
but I guess they just wanted Elliot's uniform dirty. <laughs> Now let's see what happens if we come back again. Well, he really wants to try to get Elliot there, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, he's probably figuring he's thrown over there enough times that this one's going to be – Elliot's probably trying to guess that he's yeah. going to go to home plate. He's trying to catch him. Yeah. Elliot's a – you know, he's a big kid, but he generates a lot of speed. He can run. And that lacrosse is, um, you know, similar to hockey. Much, much more scoring, and, you know, it's – Quite as physical, but count is one and one right now. He makes another move. Got one out, delivered home. That's a ball outside. Oh, that runs the count to two and one. So good hitter's pitch coming up right here. Now I haven't seen that curveball in a while, John, either. Here, well, let's see what he does. Uh, deliver straight. Oh, just talked about it. And he may, uh, yeah. He may not be comfortable throwing that curveball to a left-handed hitter because yep. it breaks in at him. Mm -hmm. Whereas at a right-hand hitter, it breaks away from him. Well, I'll tell you, there's close. It's close over there. I mean, he's back every time, but. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, every pickoff move has been right down by the first baseman's knees. Oh, it has. Oh, there's a knock. There's a knock. Oh, come on, Elliot. Oh, he's safe. Get yeah. on the bag. Get on. I thought this. I thought this. The uh, second baseman had the ball. I didn't see the overthrow. Yeah. John. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Now we got a little bingo going here. Yeah. Now with the uh, one down, I don't know if Sean is going to be aggressive. Well, if leadoff batter, we tried to double steal. I got to tell you, if, if Fenton is as hot as you say he is, he, I guess I wouldn't take the bat out of his hands right no. now. Early in the game, you're down two to nothing. Yep. I'm hoping he has Fenton swinging here. You got speed on the base. Oh, yeah, see, he's, he's got him swinging. You, and got, I'm, you got speed on the bases, so a, a little base hit will uh, yeah. score a run. And I'm sure, you know, Fenton's probably looking at that gap, knowing his Uncle Tom, his dad Andrew, yeah. and his other uncles. I mean, the, Fenton's got the ability. That's a ball. Yeah. And they're not holding him on second base. I think no. they're going back. Hazen, Hazen needs to score here because if you get runners on first and second one out mm -hmm. and don't score, that can be a – that can affect you a little bit. And we're at the top of our lineup here. Yeah. So. so this is it right here. We've Bottom got of a, the third. Got to pick up a run here somehow, John. Fenton's on it. Watch out, people. Yeah. Yeah, we could uh, we could just push them around. I prefer a first and third situation here, but there we go, Fenton. Oh, that, uh, he tried. Feel in, fly rule. Yeah. Batter's automatically out, so that brings it down to two outs now. So it's going to be on Owen Scorstad. No pressure, Owen. No. Do you know, John, in, in, in your comment with the other team, they share two names with us. Yeah. They have an Owen and they have a Grayson. And a Grayson, yep. And Grayson, I'd never heard that name until this year. Okay, big at bat right here. Mm -hmm. and, and like I say, Owen's been striking the ball very well, too. There's a oh. Oh, charity hop right to the yep. third baseman. Got a round on it, but that ends the inning. So we've played three. And Harwood still clinging to that two to nothing lead. Mm -hmm. So you're watching this on HCTV, channel 1080, www.hctv.us. Sponsored by the Village Restaurant. Open six to three every day. Breakfast takeout all day. And be sure and check out all their daily specials. And they have some tremendous ones. And Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. They are at gmtcc.lnsd.org. Please get there, get an application if you're interested. Go talk to them. Uh, they got a wonderful program, and they will jumpstart your future. And I'll tell you, certainly will. I'll tell you, I've been a lot of kids that come through there. They are recruited by local businesses oh, yeah. and everything because um, that program is known far and wide. And a lot of those kids 
go to a school for a certain trade, but only go for like one year, mm -hmm. and they come back, and I'll tell you, I, I, I know two or three kids that are working for Champlain Valley Equipment. I know mm -hmm. two or three that are working over at Cabot Creamery. Um, some of them are working as electricians. Yep. You know, they're interning as plumbing, I'll tell you. And they got the work ethic and the knowledge. They do. It's and a great program. Dan, Dan DeGroslears did that. Andrew would have, but it interfered with his hockey schedule, so yep. he couldn't get that to the school. But um, Dan went there. Uh, several of the kids did in our friend group. Yeah, so. I had a... I had a basketball player, Marissa Storto. Oh, sure. Um, she went down there, and she's a motorcycle mechanic. Yes. For lack of a better term, she's more than that. She went to the Nationals, and I think she finished second, maybe first. But anyways, she won a Harley Davidson for herself and a Harley Davidson for the school mm -hmm. and got sent to the Harley Davidson school down in Florida. Yep. All expenses paid, I guess. Yep. And I may be wrong on a couple of points, but I know it was really, really done well. And now... She is, I don't want to call her the head one because I don't know for sure, but she's one of the higher uppers down at uh, the motorcycle place in Montpelier. Wilkins? Um, Wilkins. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. I didn't know she was back in the state, but yep. I, I had heard all, and I, you know, she was quite a bit younger than uh, Lindsay. Yep. Uh, older, I'm sorry, but um, not quite a bit, but she did phenomenal for a young lady. Oh, she did. There's a nice pitch by Andrew. Yeah, now this is number seven for Harwood. Wyatt Babick, he's just a freshman. Yeah, so Harwood, with just that one senior and seven freshmen, they're going to be around in the playoffs for they, next two or three years. They, you know, for that one's high, just high. You know, for a young club, yeah. they, uh, with the juniors and the way these freshmen are, are striking the ball, playing the field here, yeah. they're they, in the dirt for him. They got five juniors, and the kid that's on the mound mm -hmm. is a junior. So he's going to be, be quite yeah. an impressive team yeah. this year. Yeah. I don't know what their record is coming into I this. think somebody told me, I think my daughter looked it up one time. I think they are close to 500 right now. Of course, they play in that capital. Oh, that's a good pitch inside right there. You know, um, it's your, I think it's your cousin, but Reggie's son yeah. from Lindenville, he was over here the other night and he Ethan. sat right beside me. Yeah. And he said this would be a good matchup for us. So, what, what was his son's name? There's a Ethan. Low, Ethan? Yeah. He's a great big guy. Oh, Dude. no, that's oh, Reggie's son. That's yes. Toby. That's Toby. Toby. Okay. Oh, yeah. I thought His so. boy is Ethan. He's he the one that fished. Yeah. yeah. He can throw. Yeah. They lost to Montpelier the other night, 7-1. Uh, to one. Oh, come on, come on, Grayson. Come on, Grayson. Come on, Grayson. Come on. Beauty on the Nice run. play. Good job. Good job. Nice play. Scooped it right up, kept it in front of him, and he was running towards first. Didn't stop, so that was good. Charged the ball. Yep. Follow through came across in stride. All in stride, too. I love that play. So this is Ryan Lacey for Harwood. He's a freshman. Mm. We're in the fourth inning already in a fast-moving game. game. They must have known I was announcing. They didn't want me to have to say too much, Ivan. <laughs> and me, too, because they know I get hungry, right? So. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew started with a ball, coming in with a strike. This is coming up in back of us. Boy, yeah. one and one right now. Andrew settled down. Yeah, he has thrown him in there. And, he, and the couple, you know, the feelers have made a couple of plays now, so they're getting a little confidence. Mm -hmm. That's a nice pitch. Ooh. Just missed inside, or it was high. In Maybe the a little bit high. Yeah. Yeah. You know, John, I got to take a second and talk about all of these great people to my right and to my left. These moms and dads, and community oh, members, yeah. and. Just this, this sport, this group of people, the whole Hardwick community, and whether it be baseball, basketball, soccer, you know, running, chess club, theater, arts, we are a community about our kids. Oh, yeah. There, that's right behind us. Hope's not my car. Bus. Oh. It's, uh, it's been such a great run, and I imagine every parent says that, you know. Well, I'll tell you another thing, too, is I don't see it stopping either. I think it's going to be carried on. We have good support here. Andrew, come on, Grayson. Come on now. Here we go, kid. Here we go. Nice job. All right. Nice two job. up, two down. Grayson's feeling it now. now. And he actually came up and winged that over there this time. Yeah. 
I think yeah. he shook the toast out of his glove in the yeah. first inning there, John, so yeah. now nothing's popping out. He's feeling pretty good right now. <laughs> you know, it's almost a situation like a lot of times when I played a little baseball, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, gosh, don't hit it to me. But after you field three or four, it's like, yeah. okay, bring That's it on. Nice start hit it to me. Hit yeah. it to me, you know? I always wanted the ball all the yeah. years that I played, and maybe I was uh, – but. I, I wanted that ball. So um, here we go. Andrew starts with a strike. That's a ball high, I would say. Well, when I played basketball, I always wanted the ball. That's because I just wanted to shoot. Well, you scored a thousand, didn't no. you? Oh, oh I thought no. you scored a thousand. No, they, they didn't have three point line when I played. Me That's neither. how old I am. Yeah. Oh, in the dirt. I don't know what happened there. Now we're going to have to work. He's down two, counts two to one. One, yeah. Two balls and a strike. Two I, outs, though. I Nobody think, on. I think Mr. Miller took that off his throwing hand again. Oh, could be. He this must keep it pretty close to his glove. That should be it. There we go. Easy play, Andrew. And the nice job. Uh, one, nice two, job. three, no ball out of the infield. Yeah. Boy, we're going to the bottom of the fourth already. already. You know, sometimes, John, those little plays like that, can be the hardest throw to first oh, base yeah. because you have too much time to think about it rather than just react. And you know what they do? Throw. You know what they do is they lob it yep. and they can't judge the lob instead of throwing it like yeah. they, they would have if they were playing third. Throw the ball over there. Yeah, throw it right at the first baseman's chest because yeah. he'll either catch it or wear it. Yeah. <laughs> that muscle motor, motor, you know, kicks in. Yeah. Whereas if you have time to think about that throw, just like you yeah. said, it's like, oh boy. Yep. So. No, that's what happens is because a kid is used to, a kid is used to throwing the ball. Mm. And if all of a sudden they try to lob it, well, it's hard to judge that lob, mm -hmm. you know. Sure and I'll tell you, you got a kid with some speed, and he could outrun the lob, too. Yep. So fire that ball over there. Get the out. Yep. But you're right. That can be a tough play sometimes. Now, I would really like to start testing these guys, not just their infield. I'd like to see a ball get struck well like we did last night. Yeah. And uh, we got to put one in the gap here. Yep. You know, I, I look around here, and you can probably pick them out too, but the, the people you had talked about it, John, um, you don't see it stopping, but I, I don't see them stopping. There's many, many former coaches in the crowd too. Oh, yeah. You know, you got Julie Southworth, Alan Delrich, oh, yeah. I was watching from home. Yeah. You know, Bill Richardson, and uh, just a lot of folks that are still involved in the sports programs here. Well, the thing of it is, it's nice about it is, um, even though I've been out of it for a long time. Oh, Andrew got fooled on I've been out of coaching for 20 years now, roughly. Yeah. Um, it's such a small community, you still know the kids yep. of the families. Um, so you come watch them play, you know? Yep. I know Andrew has the ability, certainly, to hit this ball and push it to that gap if he wants to. There's, There's a, a rack. That's, That's, That's down the He's line. That's down the line. He's got him. He's got him. Come got on, Andrew. Second. Come on. He's Come on, for a second. Stop there. Yeah. Nice. There right down go. the line. There we go. There we go. <laughs> and now Dandrew is up. Uh, fun, fun. No force. And I was just asking for, uh, boy, that wind is something. That wind is something. Now, Dan DeGroslier is up. Um, I don't know if I'd try a bunt with him because he's capable of hitting it. Can you get Mike closer? Uh, get that better? Yeah. Oh, I'm allowing too much wind in. I see. Yeah. So, Dan DeGroslier is up now. Hazen with a leadoff double by Andrew Menard. Got a little something cooking here. We're in the bottom of the fourth, down just two to nothing. Now Dan's got the power too. If he sits on that curveball, takes a ball low. If he sits on that curveball, but it's you know the guys are now seeing this pitcher for the second time. We're just coming around in our lineup and in the fourth inning, John. You yeah, talk about and that speed. That's right. And if he's uh, if he's pitched earlier this week, he may be showing a little fatigue. Good idea. Because he's looking like he's a little high right now. Yep. And we got Jake Davison on on deck, and I mean Jake is a he's a powerhouse hitter too. So is Dan. 
Ooh, uh, way running. out ahead on that curve. Yeah. yeah. He says, oh, here comes a lollipop. He swung as hard as he could. He did. He was swinging for the fences, that's yeah. for sure. He's trying to drive it somewhere. He's trying to drive it to the outfield. I don't blame him. Mm -hmm. He wants that front. Oh, Ooh. got behind on that one. He came back with a little more speed on yeah. that one, John. Just got to meet it, Dan. That's all we need, bud. Oh, oh he did swing. He yeah, he went. Well, Dan's not going to be very happy with that, but it's still, it's been a pleasure. The hours that I've spent in my backyard with Dan O, two or three kids packed into the cab of an excavator, John, in between <laughs> innings and just. Was that, is that OSHA approved? It certainly was. Oh, I thought it in was. In the Menard yeah. House. In yeah. the Menard House, I thought it was. <laughs> There we go, Jake. Oh, there, there we go. go. That's going to move the runner around, though. That it's a productive out, yeah. but it's going to make two outs now, though. Yeah. But it is a productive out. Well, Grayson, Grayson's a solid hitter. Yeah. And, you know, he's just gained that confidence in the field that you talked about. It could carry over. It could carry over right to the plate. He's feeling it right now. Like I said, he, he shook that Pop-Tart out, and yeah. um, we always called that a toaster because things popped out yeah. of it, you know, toaster love. Oh. Oh, there we go. Through the gap. Come oh. on. Get some speed. I thought I had a little more speed, John. I did too. Oh. No. He well, they're making fine. some contact, just yep. not hitting the holes. But that ends the fourth. Yep. So we're going to go to the top of the fifth already, and uh, we're in a two to nothing game here. And I'll tell you, Harwood better be careful. They let Hazen hang around. You know, Harwood came in here and probably knew Hazen's record. Mm. You know, Harwood coming off a victory, and their coach knew that Hazen probably got beat last night. But I'll tell you what, you let Hazen hang around the bottom of the inning down 2 nothing, and it could cost you. Now, I don't know. I haven't uh, seen any of the playoff standings. Um, but I don't know if this game means anything to Harwood as far as moving up or who they play. And I don't know what it does for Hazen. Of course, it all depends on how many teams go and whether they seed any teams, so it could matter. Um, I've heard some talk that we're either gonna be eight or nine. I don't, I don't know, but the guys right now are trying to judge. They, they look like they're still up and ready because I mean, it's still a two nothing game. Right well, now I'll tell you what, if they're, if they're in the eight or nine position, and if this win puts them at eight, then their first playoff game's at home. Mm. That's exactly right. That's what, we, you know, Rob and I have been talking about that all yeah. day. And uh, we'll see what happens. Big difference if you play at home. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're all looking a little sloppy out there. And, the, and you know, the fifth inning is where we've struggled all year. So I'm really hoping to get a one, two, three here. Get back in and jump on those bats. For our viewers, I, I, Lance couldn't be here tonight. They're uh, having services for his father. Is that correct? John? Oh, that probably is correct. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I know the. Uh, they were, uh, the Legion was involved and uh, yeah. Jerry and great, great guy. Mm -hmm. My yeah. thoughts oh. go out to his fall. Oh, yeah. yeah. We still got a good crowd. We're going to get the five o'clock. I don't know what time it is, but we'll see what Andrew deals out here. It's 20 after five. Starts with a good strike, 20 after five. So the five o'clock rush hour is, they're all here. Yeah, it's a good crowd here. Mm -hmm. Beautiful day too, you know. Mm. Yeah. Everybody getting a little excited, getting near the end of the year. Seniors are gonna start graduating. Mm -hmm. That one did not break. No. So John, Hardwood, Hardwood is composed of Waterbury, Duxbury, Duxbury. Moortown. Yeah. I think, oh, that's. See if he can get there. He's got time. He's got time. Oh, he got it. With the wheels. He got Ooh. it. He yep. held up and he stayed, it stayed in play. Yep. Nice catch out there. Tailing off. He had that right off the bat. Yeah. Coming. That's Fenton. Yeah, tracked yeah. it perfectly. Yeah, he had it all the way. Right in stride. Yeah. You know, he started in right. He's played right. He's played center. He's played left. And um, 
You know, I, I think he's another, what you call a tool guy. You can put him anywhere you want. There's a nice pitch. That's a good start right there. Yeah, and if you can pitch down there, low and away, and mm -hmm. keep it right at the knees and get, that's going to be hard for that kid to get a hold of I was going to say, he's tall, so I wonder. That's, that's a pitcher's pitch if you can put it down there. Andrew can do the Picasso. Left the, that's a Ooh, yeah, oh, that yeah. broke in there. There we go. And again, you know, John, you said it, he kept it down and low, yeah. and that ball broke right at his knees. This kid's sitting dead red. I'd throw him another curve. That's a gap. Oh, Grayson oh, got Grayson. the wheels. Hang on to it, buddy. No, he's going to send it. Jake did That's the right, right. thing. Yeah, Jake, throw. Jake's a good first baseman. Yeah. I can see that right now. He, yeah. Instead of letting it hop and try, you know, no, not going to get the runner. Knock it down so it doesn't get on second. Yeah. That was some very good range yeah. by Grayson. Yeah. I thought that that kid might be sitting dead red because mm -hmm. he, Andrew had thrown him two curves. I'm assuming he's going to be going here. Oh, he's trying checking the runner. I'll tell you, when you when it's a two to nothing game, two run game, there's a lot of cat and mouse stuff that goes on. Cause, you know, uh, another run could be big for Harwood. Yeah, I think he's going to be going here. Oh. Checking him again. Both teams, you know, are playing pretty well. Mm -hmm. Playing pretty well in the field. Pitching's been good. Fun ball game to watch. Sure is. No, he's not going. Nice pitch. Nice pitch. Now, with that big a lead, you know, and a, and a right-handed batter, you could snap that down the first baseline with that big lead. But the kid, he seems to be paying attention. He must yeah. be going this time. Getting a bunch of signs. And it's not just the dinner order. Not going in. That's it back. That's on the bus. Nope. nope, just missed it. <laughs> I was listening for the noise. <laughs> I was listening for the noise. Mm. John, have you ever heard anything to if, if if the batters are fouling the balls off up like this, if it means anything that much? Um, it means the ball's got some movement. Now he's going. Ooh. Come on. There you go, Gustin. Yeah. Usually it means the ball's got some movement on it mm -hmm. and they're not getting the barrel of the back completely on the ball because the ball's yeah. not coming in straight. Well, we're up in the count with one down, so as long as I don't hit that gap, there's a nice, he was trying to slap that. Yeah, he was protecting the plate there. Mm -hmm. Two strikes, he's protecting the plate. This is Jackson Palermo and he's a junior for Harwood. I'm telling you, this Harwood team is scary next year. Uh huh. Seven freshmen, six juniors. They're going to be tough for a couple of years. You know, I, I don't recognize any of the names, but I wonder if any of these kids are hockey players because. Um, you know, all the years that Andrew played hockey, we would go down and play Harwood as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's playable. Come on, Grayson. Oh, no. I think the runner uh, took his attention. And uh, that was a bad break. Yep, that was a bad break. A ball that could have been handled. So Harwood now goes up three to nothing. Still only one out, runner at first. I'll show you the difference. I'll tell you the difference in size of schools. We were down at Harwood last night watching them play Lamoille, play this mm -hmm. team. They had lacrosse practice. And, oh, there's a strike. Nice pitch. Their Let's lacrosse team is ranked second in the state in Division II. Wow. I was talking to one of the players, and they were having practice. There was 26 players out there playing lacrosse. Wow. In addition to the baseball. I'm not sure we have 26 seniors. Yeah. <laughs> this year, graduating class. I know. 2024. Yeah. I'm sure we do, but oh, that's a, that's Fenton. Fenton's oh, got twisted around. Yeah, yep. turned the wrong way. That's all right. He's that's a big hit. Hits his cutoff though. Yeah. I think. It, well, the wind it spun him around. That's the only. Yeah, well, more wind than that wind. I'll You're tell right. you. You know, we're up here in the wind a little bit, but that ball was way up in the wind. And you see those branches over oh, there. Yeah. That could have been blowing away from the swirling. Get it up in this wind right now, and I'll tell you, even a pot fly is going to be tough to catch. Yeah, I say he turned the wrong way, and I, I think the wind took that ball because he was right with it. Yeah. That's for sure. He had it off the bat. Another nice pitch, Andrew. 
So Harwood with a little threat here. Runners on second and third. One out. One strike on the batter. Already leading three to nothing. That's a good pitch. Oh, he swung. They're going to call him a strike on that. Did they... I think the pipe was walking. I didn't see what they called, John. Yeah. I think they called the strike. I don't see it on the... No, no, no they called the ball. The ball. Huh. He I, didn't saw his, the, I saw his right arm go up. Base umpire. That's outside, down low. I wonder if Andrew's going to start throwing harder to try to make up for uh, some ground here. If he, this hitter is Keegan McGrath. He's a junior. He's looking to pick up a couple right here. That's a good pitch. That's a good hit. So Harwood put, putting them across one at a time here. Mm -hmm. I said it, you know, the fifth inning seems to be our, our tough inning. So I'm hoping. Are we pinch running here? Oh, something's going on. So I suspect to be seeing him steal for sure here. Yeah, this is the, this number three is the pitcher, Nathaniel Conyers. He can really help his cause here. And he does. Yep, and he does. So just like that, Ironwood's on top five to nothing now. One out, top of the fifth. Runners at first and second. Get the courtesy runner in there. Yeah. Still got one down, so maybe we can, you know, get the lead runner. I don't know that we've turned two this, this season. Well, Lamoille did all they could to help you guys last night. Yeah. They were they were down by nine with two outs and uh, got the third out. And so it didn't go 10 run. And then they came back and scored five to make it a five run game. Ooh, there's, and they, a bunt. there's a bunt. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Yeah. He, was the same. he hesitated because yeah. of the batter. Yeah. He yeah. had him. He definitely had him, too. Yeah. So Lamoille, they had to play an extra inning or two and use a couple of pitchers. So mm -hmm. I said, well, that'll help Hazen. Yeah. Now we should be stealing. Yeah. I'm surprised the runner at first didn't go at the same time. That's a strike. Um, so 0-2 right now. One down. He's, I'm assuming he's going to be going. Strikeout right now is big. Would be huge. Big help to him. This is a freshman up. Oh. Whoops, they changed the count now to, on the scoreboard to two and one instead of one and two, and I think that's right. I don't know if Aaron does the scoreboard or who does it. I don't know there. who does the scoreboard. That's a strike. There's a strike. Two and two. And number 13 right behind him is a freshman. Oh, that should be catchable. Go back, go back, get it in, now, you know, I always talk about Joe, but, you know, whatever ball is played, something like that, you know, he's yelling, you know, no tag, yeah. hit your cut, yeah. ball going to second base. You know, he's letting his guys know. And they need to, they need to know, too. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, you get a couple of the sophomores out there, and there's a nice pitch. That's not a bad miss. I always call that not a, you know, not a bad miss right No, there. it's a pitcher's pitch. Mm -hmm. Could have been swung at. So there's two outs here. Runners on second and third. Hazen down five to nothing. I think this is the catcher, isn't it, John? Oh, swinging at something a little high there, but we'll take that. I won't complain. Makes it one and one. <laughs> Ryan Lacey is also a freshman. Oh, I'm mistaken then. It's not the catcher, is it? Let's see what Andrew does here. Jake doesn't hold people at third. There's in the dirt. <laughs> Makes it two and one. I think I'm seeing two outs, aren't I? Yeah, there's yeah, two outs. I thought so. Yeah. That's a strike. Nice sure. pitch. Okay. Ah, we might be able to get out of it right here. Uh, deuces are wild. Two outs. Two and two count. Two runners on. 
That's either a very good cribbage hand or <laughs> good poker hand. Yeah. <coughs> nope, a little high. Gonna, couldn't chase that one. A little high. So we'll see if he's swinging or if he's looking to walk here. Don't lose him, Andrew. There we go. We got a still got a battle going. He's protected. I would assume they're going to try to send Andrew through the whole game. Yeah, because they won't need him again until Tuesday. Another foul ball. Uh, that was here. in the crowd. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, Chris Neamey almost had a play on her. <laughs> well, Myers, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Full count, three and two. Let's see if Andrew wins this battle. Oh, check it earlier. <laughs> Andrew's gonna think about it again out there. Nope. Nope, ball four. That loads them. Bases are juiced right now. Now we have Grayson Van Sulkema, and he's only a freshman. I tell you, this bottom of the lineup loaded with freshmen, and they're it looking pretty is. good. He's going to be tough to pitch to. Not, Not that, that one. Nope. You know, I know it's my son pitching right now, John, but loyalty. This kid is loyal to a club and any anything in, in general, but um, the character and the composure, he just carries himself the comp you know I just I know it's my kid and oh, yeah. put the, you know take the dad hat off but uh, yeah my grandson just stays with it thinks the world of Andrew oh well, you know why it, it, <laughs> because he my grandson made the varsity as an eighth grader yeah and got his first hit off of Andrew <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome oh yeah something that's you never something you never forget you always, you always know yeah. who your first hit is off yeah. you know and stuff yeah yeah, it was right here at Hazen. Yep. Mm. What grade is your grandson? Now? He's a sophomore now. Yeah. Yep. Oh, got a battle going here. This freshman okay. is He's swinging the stick. Uh, they're okay. hanging tough. But it's one and two now. Two outs. Bases loaded. Top of the fifth inning. Harwood on top, five to nothing. Hazen need an out right here. So now you wonder, what pitch does Andrew throw here? I'd throw with a heater. I'd come with a heater. Mm -hmm. Freshman, might be a little nervous. Might swing it one down in the dirt. Nope. He did get him, though. Got him. Just the opposite of what I said. Threw yeah. a curveball, threw it high. <laughs> you know, and I've said this to Lance and everybody around me quite a bit, you know, that, that high fastball or fall, it just looks like a Big Mac coming down yeah. the tube, and it's so hard to lay off of it that. It is. Dish. Even the pros have a hard time yeah. laying off those. But now we go to the bottom of the fifth. Hazen, uh, Hazen trailing five to nothing, so they're going to get some bats going here, mm -hmm. hopefully. It's on senior day, and uh, we honored the seniors. I'm here with Ivan Menard. I'm John Lucier. And uh, we're bringing you the action on HCTV, of course. And uh, it, it was a great, great ceremony for the seniors, the five seniors, and they honored Joey Revard for all his time and willingness to really help out and do things and do things right, do it the right way. Uh, it's just a good ceremony. Good crowd here came out to see everything. And a beautiful day. So you know, where else would you rather be? This, this is going to be one of the one of the largest, larger crowds I've seen in a game. Not sure if it's the largest, but it is quite a crowd. It is a good crowd. Yep. So let's see what if we're going to deal here. If, what can Sean do? What can Joe do or TJ? Yeah, we need some runs. To make something happen down here. We gotta have some runners. We gotta have some runners. One thing you don't want to do is give that pitcher a quick inning right now. Nope. After they just scored three runs, you don't want to go down one, two, three, have him come out of here with 10 or 12 pitches. Because that means he'll be strong for the next inning. And we're getting, Certainly you know, we're getting be. into the twilight here a little bit. Mm -hmm. We're bottom of the fifth. Okay. 
see if Justin can put the stick on the ball. Now, this, like you said, we're getting up into the, the pitch counts as well. Yeah. That one's outside, just a little bit low maybe. But um, it is still the same pitcher, right? Oh, yeah. Let's see what Justin does here. Takes another one low. Get on any way you can. Mm -hmm. Walk right now is a good as a hit. Seven, eight, nine is the lineup here. So if you can get a couple of these on, then bring the top of your order back up. Mm -hmm. Things could happen. There's another ball. That makes it three and all. So if I'm Sean, I got him taken all the way. Kid hasn't thrown a strike oh, in yeah. yet. Yeah. That's a ball, ball four. four. Now this could be. You know, John, you have a few more years on me. I'm going to say about three years older than I am. At least. And um, I wonder if, if, if he walks another batter, how quickly the Harwood coach, you know what I mean? Is he going to let him power through? You know, yeah. like you said, what does he have left in the bag? Back. Justin is out. Oh, they got him. Picked him right off first. Caught sleeping. Yeah, that takes you out of a start of a rally. He probably had intentions of going, probably got off a step further or something. Uh, I don't think he saw the move. He just didn't see the move. Yeah. And um, unfortunately, he didn't hear him saying get back either. No. <laughs> this is Elliot Rosendahl, <laughs> one of our seniors. Elliot takes a cut. Quickly behind Owen, two, one out. Yep. Oh, I don't want to make this a fast inning if we can help it. Get those hardwood bats back up there. There we go. There oh. it is, that curveball again. I'll tell you, he's mixing up his pitches real well. Mm -hmm. He's got them off balance. He's got them off balance. So now there's two outs. This is Landon Miller. You know, I can never remember. I can't get his first name down, but aside from Ms. young Mr. Miller is what I like to call him. There's a nice little behind that one, John, I would say, but that's all right. Yeah, I don't think he was quite ready. This pitcher's working quickly. You want to get in there. Watch the batter. He's in the box. Here comes the windup yeah, already. Yeah, now. Yeah. There's there, that's, that's uh, trouble, that's trouble. Uh, no. No, not with this kid. Quick release. Quick release, wow. and there it is. One, two, three inning. Just what we didn't want to have happen. Yeah. But that's the end of five, though. And uh, Hazen on the short end of a five nothing score to Hayes, uh, to Harwood. Mm -hmm. So we got two innings to make up some difference. We got to hold them. And again, you're watching this on uh, HCTV channel 1080, at, and also you can stream it at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors for today's game are the Village Restaurant, open six to three every day, breakfast takeout all day, and also check out the daily specials. They change them all the time, and they are good. And Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC at gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your, jump your future. Well, a fast-paced game, though. It certainly is. It's only 5.42, and I don't think we got started quite at 4.30, did we? You know, I didn't see the time, John. No, with the festivities and everything? Yeah. Um, oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Run <clears throat> runaway tape going down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> See if Art makes it down. We'll, I think he's going to make it. Oh, yeah. Getting back up. I'm just about to. That'd be my problem. Yeah. I could roll down easy enough. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's going to do it. He's going to put it in full wheel drive and come right up out of there. <laughs> so. We go to the sixth inning. Mm -hmm. Said before, he's in on a short end of a five-nothing score here. Um, Andrew pitching a pretty good game. Had some miscues in the field a little bit that hurt. Mm. Yeah, but Harwood has hit the ball too. They've hit it. You know, it seems like they've taken advantage of some opportunities. They've had some runners on. They didn't come up with a hit. Yep. Oh, that's a sign of a you know pretty good team. Mm -hmm. 
So and we just, you know, in our offense, we, it's just stringing those hits together and then, you know, getting yeah. on base and, you know, situational awareness. All right. It's, uh, we're a young club too. So this is so. number two, Matthew Fiaschetti. He's a junior. That's nice a pitch. Good job, Andrew. I can't tell, John, if, if this coach is rotating in players or if I'm... Uh, he was just talking to the ump mm -hmm. a minute ago, so I think he probably starts subbing right about now. There's another one. That should be playable. Nice. There you go, Justin. There nice play. Go. Nice there play. Bang, bang. Nice play. That, was, that, that had a little mustard on it. He it got did. over there. He got over there, covered his ground. So quick out there, and that's just what Andrew needs. He needs about two more, just mm. like that. This is number 21, Jack Lacey. He's a freshman. And he is brother to number 13, Ryan Lacey, who's a freshman. So maybe we have twins, wow. or maybe cousins. You never know. Yep, yep, true. Now that one was up on the hands inside. And that was a fastball to start. Let's see what Andrew throws here. Little off speed, little. I think he wanted that one back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was batter stepped right towards first. He couldn't mm -hmm. reach that one. Mm -hmm. Two and one. We seem to have a little lull going here. That's a That's, nice pitch. Whoa. I don't know where that one was, but uh, even uh, you know, even Mike Baker agrees that that was a nice pitch. That was that pitch looked pretty good from here, and we're almost directly behind the backstop. Oh, I don't think he got him. Oh yeah. Oh, he did. So that puts a runner at first, one out, mm -hmm. and that brings up Jackson Palermo, a junior. Coming back into the meat of their order here, aren't we, John? Yeah. See the end, he'll check the runner. Fatigue might be setting in now. Mm. He's thrown, you know, he's had to throw quite a few pitches. And we are in the sixth inning. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can leather it up here and get out of this. Nice and overthrow now a little bit. Sean will come out and give him a little pep talk. Settle him down a little. Mm -hmm. Now Fenton's been on everything. Here he comes. It's a foul ball, but he caught it. Good play. Good play. Good Good play. Job, Fenton. Fenton's pretty steady out there. Oh, he's very steady. That's why I say, like, you know, you called it, John. I think, you know, that ball, he was, he was on it, and he turned, and then I think the ball turned on him. Yeah, I do too, because it was a gale force almost it, out yeah. there. Look at it now, no wind at all. He just eased right mm -hmm. over and caught that. Now the wind, we knew the wind was going to affect some ball mm -hmm. sometime, and it happened to be that one. But now we got two outs here. That's a nice pitch. That is a nice pitch. Looking to get out of it. And you know, some people might look at these guys and think, well, they're not down and ready in the outfield out there, but they just, they've got that speed and, yeah. and it's youth too, you know. Oh, Andrew got some help on that one. He did. Now that makes it 0-2, though. This is uh, John Butler, uh, number 18 here. Oh, well, no, excuse me. It's Nicholas Casey. He's a sophomore. It'd be nice if we could get the third out right here. Right, right here. On this pitch. Yep. And we yes. did. Oh. oh, no. Oh, he's got to get him. Uh-oh. No. Off the bag. Well, that's a tough one. That's all right, don't worry about it. Yep. Well, that brings up Keegan McGrath, a junior. And he's been a pretty steady hitter today. I'm assuming, like I said, I've been saying this all day, that he should be stealing, but maybe not. There's a strike. They swing. 
Well, I'm not sure how quick the runner is. He's a big, big boy on first. Mm -hmm. And with two outs, that coach may not want to take him out of an inning. Especially if he's got a good stick up here. Mm -hmm. That's a strike. Now, if Andrew can finish it right here, that would be... I don't know how many strikeouts this inning. Uh, uh, it's been a fly out, one strikeout, and another strikeout. And yeah. This would be the fourth out of the inning. That should be playable. Oh, oh out of play. Out of play. Jake tried to make the tag. I guess we'll have six outs in this inning, John. Yeah. Or this at bat. So that makes it six to nothing. So Hazen wants to get out of this inning pretty quick because you're getting close to 10 here. Mm -hmm. Two outs, but like I said at the beginning of the broadcast, teams get that first two outs and that third out sometimes comes hard, just comes hard. And now Andrew is gonna probably wind up and throw it a little extra harder here. Cause he's, uh, Nice There's pitch. a nice pitch. Let's put a little more heat on this one. He's, this is the pitcher, Nathaniel mm -hmm. Conyers. He could really help his cause. He helped it last time with a base hit. Mm -hmm. He could really help his cause today, right now. That, oh, should, be an that out. should be an out. That's a hard ball. Ooh, oh, boy, that wind took it. Yep, that wind took it, but he stuck with it. So I think that was six or seven outs that inning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that was didn't a long it. way that, around. That we didn't need it. But we go to the bottom of the six. Hardwood's on top, six to nothing over the Hazen Union Wildcats here on Senior Day. And uh, Hazen will know in the playoffs. Ivan seems to think that they're going to be somewhere in the eight nine range. Um, and if they are eight, their playoff game will be at home. They'll be playing the number nine seed, and if they are ninth, they'll go to the eighth team. But depending on what other schools do, and and some of them, some of them might not even play their last game. Mm -hmm. So you don't know, you know, if they don't think they can move up or whatever. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the teams we played this year were Division Two teams, John. I don't understand this Capital League, and yeah, they, they've changed a lot of the divisional play. Well, one of the things is. Um, the Capital League, we joined the Capital League for basketball to get that extra competition. Oh. Yeah, um, to move up. And the competition is good. Now, the team that plays Hazen in the playoffs, you want to be ready for Hazen because Hazen, even though their record doesn't show it, has played these Division II teams. The competition mm -hmm. is really good. So all of a sudden you're dropping down a division. You know, you drop down a division, and uh, there's a big difference. There's a big difference. Yep. And that's why you'll see some of the southern teams, and of course I follow basketball more, but so, some of the southern teams in basketball will come in with a, you know, a decent record of 13 and seven or something, but in Division Three. But all of a sudden they've played the Fair Havens, they've played the um, Middlebury's, you know, those southern schools that are Division One and Two. So their record doesn't show it, and then they come into Division Three, and I'll tell you. They're a force to be reckoned with. It's mm. all, you know, strength of schedule is huge. Sure. It looks like we're making a batting order change again on our or on our side. Sean just had a visit, and number ten is that? That's number not ten. Not Jake Hayden, is it? For us. It is. It is. Yeah, plays at third base. I wonder yeah. why he moved him down to second. Maybe. Okay, so right now, this is Fenton. This could be Fenton's last at bat as a senior. And he hits the ball sharply. Oh, oh. look at that. Oh, he pulled in it. Well, Fenton, my friend, that was a nice hit. I'll tell you, that, that left side of the infield is solid for mm -hmm. Harwood. They don't miss too much. Solid. And he had very good speed coming down the line. Too. Yeah. You, you know, it. here we have Jacob Hayden. Mm -hmm. You know, watch a ball go down through there to the low one outside. Here 
some serious speed off that pitch. Mm -hmm. Did the right thing, came right back in with the heat. Yeah, I'll tell you, this kid that's on the mound, he's not a thrower, he's a pitcher. Mm -hmm. He's a pitcher. There's a strikeout. Two down really quickly right there. Really quickly. Okay, Andrew Menard's up now. Could be his last home appearance. Mm -hmm. He'll play one playoff game anyways. Yep. It could be his last home plate appearance right here at the Hazen Fields. That right outfielder playing him pretty shallow. Andrew got, I don't know if that was off speed or if that was his curveball. I don't think he's gonna feed Andrew like he did in the last couple of innings. No. Uh, Straight up, that one could be a tough one. Mm. Nope, right there. And just like that, it's one, two, three. So at the end of six, with one inning to go, Hazen, zero, Harwood, six. Harwood will come up to the top of the seventh inning with that lead. Um, been a very, uh, you know, six nothing's not a bad score at all when you figure how they scored them, a run here, a run there, and then the beginning where they got three. But it's been a pretty well played game, well pitched game, quick game. Sure has been. Several one, two, three innings on both teams. Mm -hmm. You know, there wasn't a 12 run inning or anything like that, you know. Jake Davison is gonna take the mound now for his, uh, his senior year. Uh, yeah, swan song here. Yeah. Now Jake's got a, a mean knuckleball. Oh, he does. He does. And um, it'll be fun to see Jake close this out too. Yeah. So Andrew's over at first. Yeah. I'll tell you what. With the wind the way it's blowing, he flutters that knuckleball in there. That could be fun. <laughs> he doesn't throw it much no. in high school. I know last year I had the 18 U Bay Bruth coach. I was really surprised with that knuckleball that he throws. So it was a great resource to have him come in behind, you know, somebody that threw a little harder and he had a lot of movement on the ball and he would really mess folks up with it. So it's boiled down to uh, hopefully we can get three outs and three outs and have some bats, we hope. Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting to see if Harwood sticks with the same pitcher or if they got a closer that comes in mm. to get a little work in or something. A lot of it could depend on what happens in the top half of this inning. Harwood tacks on three or four more or something, then you might see a different pitcher. Yep. That's kind of what happened last night. They had that 8-9 run lead against Lamoille. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, they brought in a couple of pitchers, took their pitcher out, and I'll tell you, Lamoille scrapped right back into it. Well, we're going to get our last at bats, no matter how many runs they score. That's here. right. That's right. No matter what. Be in the seventh, you know, top of seven. Yeah. Mm. You know, it doesn't feel like a Friday afternoon to me, a Friday night. I don't know what it is. If I, <laughs> it's too nice of weather. <laughs> yeah, lost a day or I just need to add a day to the work week, I guess. Mm. Here's Jake's first pitch. Let's see what he delivers. Oh, that uh -oh. should be an out, Andrew Collett. Makes the one play. pitch, one out. We like that. I couldn't tell what it was, John. If he just started, I'm sure he would have started with a with a fastball, maybe. Mm -hmm. 
the Jake Livers here. There's a fastball. There's a fastball. Yep. <coughs> that was a good one too. I'll tell you, that's mm -hmm. a pitcher's pitch right there. You know, at the top of the count, with no strikes or no balls, a hitter will let that go by. But with two strikes, he's got to try to foul that yeah. off. And that's all they can do with that type of pitch. Sure. Now, when Jake gets ahead in the count, you know what I mean? I, I haven't seen him throw the knuckleball this year in in varsity games. Yeah. So I don't know if being hey, his last his, year, his, if he his, would try, you know, his, last hoorah here. Let's know. see what happens with him. We get two outs. Mm. Maybe he'll want to end the game with a knuckleball. That's a nice Whoa, pitch. Oh, right boy, there. That, that is a now pitch. That, he had some movement on it. Yeah, that was a good pitch. You know, Jake comes from a long line of oh, ball yeah. players, too. You oh, know, the, yeah. The Kuba side. They all played. Oh. Uncle Dave, we called him Snap. He yeah. didn't snap the ball. You snap your glove or your. And his oldest uncle, Richard. Oh, uh, yeah. He, yeah. Uh, he played with me on Little League. That's and he was a left handed pitcher. Really? And I'll tell you, when you're in Little League and you're a left handed pitcher, you got a little advantage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. So we got a one and two count right now, and one out, top of the seventh. Hazen down six nothing. Here's a pitch. Ooh, a just a low. little bit low. It was over, but low. And brings it up to two and two. But uh, hard to lay off that two and two. You know, yeah. you know what I mean? To go down for the I went over reaction times in the last game, John at home. You know, the last time we did this over on the TV. Oh. Oh yeah, that was. No. Oh. Looks like should, a strike. Should have been a, should have been a strike anyways. Yeah, it looked it. So I was talking about reaction times and distances, and you know I went on the web and found all these things. And just a 60 mile an hour fastball. These guys, they really only have you know 0. 0.4, one three seconds. Now that should be that's trouble. But Andrew's going no, Andrew, back. No, Andrew, no, it's not as deep as right we thought. Right off the bat, yeah. Okay, yeah, two up, two down. Out. Let's get it out and let's get back in the dugout, guys. Yeah. Jacob looks good pitcher. Oh, he does. He said he, he's been a powerhouse. He's, you know, yeah. his bat hasn't been hot for him as of lately, but he's had a very good season. He hit, he hit a Boy. very strong hit last night. Boy, I'll tell you, if, if Hazen, if Hazen goes into a playoff game, division three level, and you got a one-two punch of Andrew and Jacob in your first game. Mm -hmm. You should be in the game. Yep. You could be in the game. And you know you got Grace and you've got Owen. We've we've yep. got quite a bit of pitching. Yeah. <laughs> See that? that Boy, he had yeah. a lot of movement on that one too. Now is the is the is the rule for high school the same as it is in the pros? Like Andrew was pitching, he's overplaying at first. As long as he doesn't leave the game, they could bring him back if they wanted to. For pitching. I, I believe you could, but I, I, yeah. No, I think they could. Mm -hmm. If all of a sudden, you know, if they were in a close game or something and mm -hmm. they had taken Andrew out uh, and brought in a reliever and then all of a sudden they needed an out for sure to, mm -hmm. to end the game or something, they could bring him back in. Yeah, you got to have a strategy when you start moving people around like that too. Yeah, but as long as he does not leave the game, he can mm -hmm. pitch again. He can play again. Come on, Jake. Let's get out of it, bud. Oh, he's not going to, that one, he's been very consistent. Yeah, he's been, he's done a good job mm -hmm. up it, I will say that. He certainly has. Well, we got a three and one count now, two outs. Let's get this third out. Mm -hmm. Old Jake are going to be, let's get that strike, Jake. There. Now that pitch was in the same spot, John, and yep. this time he decided to protect it a little bit. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You never know what they're thinking. It's got to be full up. And it's reaction. And this guy is Tyler Martin. He's just a freshman. It, oh, it should be full up. That's what I, you know, something's missing on the board. That's not going to give him that outside, outside pitch. Yep. No. Okay, so there's a runner on first now. Still two outs. We can get out of this here mm -hmm. with no runs. Batting now is Matthew Fiaschetti, Jr. Caught him. 
caught them both sleeping. Like. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, they probably they were conversing over there. Mm -hmm. and it could be another hockey. You know, it could be a hockey player. Oh, could, you, know, you never you, know. You just don't know. These they yeah. they all know each other today through sports and oh, between AAU and oh, yeah. hockey and everything else. Yeah. That's a good start right there. Yeah, I've noticed, been to several games when there's been a pitching change, different mm -hmm. teams. You'll see the shortstop and second baseman, if there's a runner on second for the other team, they're over there, they're talking, they're joking, oh, sure. they're laughing. I love to see that. That's mm -hmm. just great sportsmanship, you know, and oh, it's just When I was in wonderful. school, John, we didn't seem to do that because you know, You know, if they were a town away, you... Uh -oh. oh, oh, uh, poor, poor Grayson got caught. He's yeah. going to get his bag. He's going to cover the bag, yeah. He thought that ball was going more up the middle. A little hit and run. Well, here comes Hardwood again. Two down. A little, another two out rally in the makings here if we aren't careful. Hazen down six to nothing. Batting now is uh, Jack Lacey, number 21. He's a freshman. He got hit the last time up. Yeah. Andrew hit him. Big out right here. Big out. Keep it to Huge six. Out. Keep it to six. You always got a chance. Now Jake's not going to worry about holding the runners. Oh, now Let's they're go going. Now. Oh, oh, oh. They didn't check it at first. Yep. We've had a, a lot of unearned runs this season. And... Um, but we keep on improving and improving each time we're out there. So, well, when you when you got a lot of freshmen yep. and you're a young team, you're going to have some unearned runs. Mm -hmm. I knew he'd be going. That's a strike, though. And don't forget one thing that one thing that hurts Hazen, of course, is there's no feeder program. These kids start out as a freshman or sophomore, and sometimes they're just playing ball for the since little league. You know, mm -hmm. they didn't have anything in middle school. Um, and, you know, these teams that are successful, you take Linden, for example, they've won some state championships. Mm -hmm. They're always in the making. They're ranked number two that, right now, I guess. Ah, Foul ball there. Play. And, uh, but they got, a, they got a little league system right in Lindenville, like eight or ten teams just in Lindenville. Oh, yeah. yeah, really good program. Really you know, good we, program. You know, if I go back to this group here, you know, that we still had three and four teams in little league in Hardwick. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then... The T ball, and uh, then I don't know if it just became too many options or you know the that's a Ooh. nice pitch. Oh, I don't know where. Wow, that was close. I guess that you know when high. I played when I played little league, there was a team in North Montpelier, East Callis, Woodbury, mm -hmm. two in Hardwick. Um, East Hardwick had one. Cabot had one. Plainfield had one. Mm -hmm. um, there was a team, uh, and Greensboro had one. Uh, oh, that was ball four. I thought that was a full count on that last pitch. Well, it should have been. <laughs> uh, well, it should have been a yeah. an out, essentially. But. Yeah, but no, but back then there was enough kids, and they all had their own teams in sure. different towns. Now you, now they're all regional, and you can get maybe two teams out of half those towns. Yeah. The class sizes, you know, Hardwick, you oh, know yeah. what I mean? The, the, the basketball program, there's a night. No, he's not going to. But family size, too. You That's know. what I just about to say. You know, class size yep. is going down. Yep. <sighs> yep. You know, Crassbury's down here playing with us so that we have enough. We wouldn't have enough. Uh, players without crash. No, that's right. So I'm awfully glad they're here. Great group of folks. Nope. And you're seeing a change in the in the dynamics of sports. Soccer is huge now. Mm -hmm. I mean, you take People's Academy in softball. They didn't. They've won state championships recently, and they don't have enough for their own team this year. Now it's Hazen, um, Crashbury, and yep. People's to make yep. a team. Jake was having some trouble here, but let's see if he works his way out of it. Well, we got bases loaded here. We got a, it looks like a two and one count, two outs, top of the seventh. Harwood with a big threat, looking to break this open. Mm -hmm. And a hit right now could break it open. Hazen doesn't want to go down any further than they have to right now. Got to get that third oh, out. To first. Got to get that third out. Uh, 
And Jake's going to go right from the wind up. I think he has been with the. Yeah. Oh, come on, Justin. Oh, there we go. There we go. Got a nice there we go. He played that well, got his body in front of it, took yeah. it in the chest a little bit between the stomach and the chest. It wasn't going through him. And he got it. So Hazen dodges a bullet there, but they still trail going into the bottom of seventh, six to nothing. I'm John Lucier here with uh, Ivan Menard. We're having a blast watching this game. Uh, we're broadcasting for HCTV Channel 1080, www.hctv.us. And tonight's sponsors are the Village Restaurant. They're open six to three every day, breakfast and takeout all day long. Check out the daily specials. And by Green Mountain Technology and Career Center at GMT. TCC at lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. <laughs> it's been a quick moving game. Game's mm -hmm. not even, uh, well, it's just about an hour and a half old. We're in the bottom of the last inning. Hazen with a last gasp effort here. Got to string it together. They are staying. No, get, this is number three. Huh? Yeah, same pitcher. It is. Nathaniel Conyers, yep. Yep. But he's had some quick innings, and he so his pitch has. count isn't up there, you know. I mean, he's pitched well. He's picked a runner off, helped his cause. Mm hmm And he's had some very good fielding behind him, especially on the left side with well, the short sure has. shortstop and third baseman. That last backhand play that that third baseman made, mm -hmm. I'll tell you, that was a dino. And to throw the runner out, that's a long throw. Sure is. Andrew played a lot of third base. Yeah. See that catcher with that gun he right does. there? He John. <laughs> he has a gun. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and they've thrown a runner out at second. Mm -hmm. You know? So here we go. Here's Dan. Dan DeGrosley. Dan DeGrosley. Could be his last at bat here at regular season. Jake on deck. Let's see if Dan get contact here. Cool. Well, I'll tell you what, if it's not his last at bat in the regular season, it means we're having a good inning. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> I'm a fight. I'm not a retreat. I'm more no. of a fight in a different direction kind yeah. of guy. But. Ooh, oh, lay off God, that because that's what he's, job, he's gone after those before. He checked it in the last inning, or yeah. his last at bat, and that's what got him his third strikeout, I believe. Or his third strike. Mm -hmm. All right, Dan, let's get some contact, buddy. Good eye. Three and all. Take it all the way, baby. Let's get a runner. I think we've only had one ball hit to the outfield today, right? Um, maybe, yeah. Uh, came in with a strike now. Now Dan's back to being green lighted. Okay. Be ready for that bender right now. Ball. Okay, we got a runner. That's what we need. We need some runners. Now let's see if Jake can turn it on. Because, you know, when he connects with a ball, he sends it extremely hard yeah. and very far. Oh, no. Oh. Jeez. Wow. Dan DeGrosley just got picked off first. That's the second one that's got picked off, and there's been several close plays. Oh, Jake, off the handle, inside the handle a little bit, but. Yeah, so just like that, there's two outs here. Mm -hmm. Hazen down to their last out, bottom of the seventh, trailing six to nothing against the Hardwood Highlanders. So it's on the shoulders of Grayson McNaughton, sophomore. He's played shortstop and, you know, played pretty well today. He made some good plays. He's made some, yeah. Had a couple that uh, that uh, tied him up a little bit, but he's played pretty well. Ooh, laid off that one. Let's see if he can score six runs, John. Yeah, six runs with two outs would be good. <laughs> with one swing of the bat, that yeah. would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. All right, Grayson. There, oh, that one kind of choked him up. Handcuffed him a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. He's got those long arms. He's a tall, strong young man. So we'll be. Ooh, this nice pitcher bit. does work fast. He you does. Know, he, you he get can, in the batter's box. You better yeah, be ready. He can smell it right now. He can smell it right now. Mm -hmm. 
One ball, two strikes, two outs, bottom of seventh. He's leading six to nothing. He wants his pitch right here. Oh, there it was. That's the game. So, that's the game. The Hazen Union Wildcats drop one to Harwood, six to nothing. This is uh, John Lucier along with Ivan Menard. Hope you enjoyed the game on senior day here. And uh, we'll see you, hopefully, maybe if we get lucky for a home playoff game. some kind of ceremony or something now? They're going to... Um, they're going, the seniors are going to take a victory lap. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. That sound all right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah.